Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm founder of TTB Tamer. Uh, this video is just a quick demo video of some of the features of TTB Tamer and how you can use it in your brewery to help with uh, record keeping and ultimately creating those federal reports at the end of the quarter or month or when, whenever you need to make them. Uh, let me log in here real quick. The first page we're taken to is the dashboard. Um, on the right-hand side is a, what we call the filing calendar. If there are any due dates within the month, um, those dates would highlight yellow. Uh, for example, the first quarter reports were due in April. So here are the excise tax and operations reports on the 14th and 15th. Um, you can also print any of these reports directly from the calendar just by clicking on the date. Um, we'll get into more of printing reports in a little bit. Um, on the left-hand side is the balances that TTB Tamer calculates based on all of the entries that you make. Um, we'll get into this really detailed in a few minutes. Um, so right below this is some information about the current period, when it starts, when it ends, and it, when the reports are due for your situation. Uh, we handle quarterly reporting, semi-monthly, and monthly reporting, depending on when you all plan on doing this. So you can set it up individually, specific to your brewery. And then right below that, tutorial videos. Um, if you have any questions or just want to get a refresher on anything, you can also shoot me an email, but sometimes the videos are really easy just to watch whenever um, you need to. Uh, to navigate the software, we just click the icons up here in the navigation bar. Uh, this is how you get to the brewery setup or log out of the, brewery, of the account altogether. Um, if you need to send us a quick note, uh, report a bug, request a feature, or just visit us on our Facebook page, you can do that from here. Um, a lot of our features are de developed uh, directly from the requests of some of our breweries. So if you have any questions or, you know, think uh, – you know, TTP Tamer can really benefit from something. Uh, you know, we can definitely build it out for you. I'm sure if you're asking for it, we have, you know, six or seven other customers that are, you know, wanting the same thing. So um, that's really helpful. Um, on every page, you can toggle on and off hints. So if you're confused about something, want to know what something does or what the heck's going on, you can just turn on the hints and see what's going on. And then to get to the other main pages of the software, we click on the shield over here. Um, let's go to our make entries page. This will be obviously where you make all your entries. Um, so I made some entries earlier today on, um, just so we can have something to look at. Let's say we made an entry for today. So the first thing you would see is, you know, when did this entry happen? Um, you can pick any date in the past. Um, but you can't do anything in the future, obviously. So let's just say we made something today. Let's say we made, we made, we made a coconut porter. So let's add that in here, coconut porter. And that, that was auto-filling from a previous entry that I made. Click OK. And again, we see the inventory. So these all calculate based on the entries that you make in, in TTV Tamer. The software takes all of the entries and categorizes them based on, you know, do they belong in the cellar? Uh, do they go to bright tanks or cases of kegs? Um, and it does just, you know, a running calculation and comes up with your beer inventory. So this is your starting amounts for whenever you make the entry. Um, if you need to see more detail about, you know, where these entries come from, you can click on the orange icon and you can see that, you know, overall, since I started the brewery, I made, you know, 28 barrels and I transferred nine and three quarters and uh, seven and three quarters on this day and I had a few losses. So this is really helpful to see, you know, where does, where does this balance come from? Um, you can break everything out this way. Um, same thing for, you know, cases, uh, kegs, and um, what the TTB calls racking bulk or bottling bulk, um, which you can think of as a bright tank for either kegs or bottles or cans. 
So if we scroll down, we can see all of the entries that you could, you know, that TTP Tamer might be interested in in order to create your reports at, at the end of the quarter. So for example, how much beer did you produce? Did you add any liquids in the cellar? Um, racking and bottling questions, beer removals and sales, um, you know, returns back to the brewery after the beers are left. Um, if you have a pilot brewery, and then at the bottom, we have a tab for losses, shortages and overages, and as well as uh, adjustments. So let's get back to our uh, coconut porter that we're gonna make today. And let's just say I have a 10 barrel brewery and I made 10 barrels of coconut porter. So if I needed to add, add any comments to myself, I can do that here. Um, edit dry coconut to boil. Just a note for myself for whatever reason. Click save. And you can see that uh, TTB Tamers saved 10 barrels and then our barrels in the cellar increased by 10 barrels. So before we had 28 total barrels throughout our lifetime and now we have 38. Um, let's make another entry here. Let's say we moved uh, another beer that I made earlier called Nitwit to a bright tank um, for you know carbonation. Um, the TTB has some really funky terminology for bright tanks. It's called racking bulk. Uh, rack, well, racking bulk if it's destined for kegs, bottling bulk if it's destined for bottles or cans. So this, that's the terminology you'll see here. So we transferred from the cellar to racking bulk. Let's say we transferred nine and three quarters barrels. And this isn't our coconut porter. This is our nitwit. Again, any comments that you wanna add here? And we'll save that. And again, you can see the confirmation here, as well as the beer, beer inventory has been updated. So now we only have 10 and a quarter barrels in the cellar, and we have nine and three quarters barrels in our bright tank. And let's just make two more entries of sales. Let's say we sold some beer to a distributor. Oops. Um, so in kegs, Let's say we sold five um, half barrels. We can select that from the drop down. And we sold our first IPA. And you can see uh, we entered five half barrels. TTP Tamer does two and a half barrels, so it does all the conversions for you. Uh, and let's do one more. Let's say we sold 30 cases of uh, 12 ounce beers. Make a comment if we want, and let's say we sold our one, two, three ESB. And again, TTP Tamer does all the math for you. So you can put away your calculator. Okay, so we made all of our entries for today. Um, we can go over to the entry log. So this is where we'll see all of our entries organized by the target date. Made all these entries here. We can see the user who made it. So if you have more than one user, it'll be all of your names here. Uh, the category, the creation date, which would be today, and then the target date can be any day in the past or today. Um, any comments that you made, and then the batch number, and then the amount that was made for the entry. So in the uh, uh, 
entry log here, we can do a lot of filtering functions. So let's say we want to see all the entries we made in April. So we can click start date and then click, we want to start on April, or I'm sorry, not May, April, April 1st. And then we'll see all the entries made through April 30th. So you can see all the entries that we made for today are gone. Um, so it's only showing now entries that were targeted for April. And then we can filter it even further. Well, let's say we want to see all the beer that has been fermented. I think it's having a problem with my, uh, there we go. There we go. So we just select beer fermented from the menu here and we've only made three beers fermented in April. And then if we have, you know, still have a bunch of entries, we can filter it even further by batch number. So we can start, just start typing, see which uh, batches match up. And voila, we, we filter everything out. And this is really helpful because TTB Damer doesn't directly do uh, state reporting. You can quickly use the filter functions to find the information you need for your state reports. For example, you know, how much beer you made in a month or how much beer you sold. Um, that, that can all be found really quick. And then you just pull out your calculator, you know, go down the column, do the math real easy, and then you can use that for your state reporting. So that's the entry log. Let's move to the batch log. So the batch log shows all of your entries, except that it's organized by batch. So for example, um, let's look at the first IPA. So you can see that we made 10 barrels and then we transferred some to Racking Bulk or the Bright Tank. We had one quarter barrel of losses and then we sold two and a half barrels. So the idea behind the batch log is as you, once you make the beer and you start you know, moving it through your process and selling it out the door, all of these inventory numbers should end up to be zero. So you can quickly see here you know, where your inventory is for that batch. If there are any discrepancies, um, you can make adjustments here. So for example, instead of 2.5, oh, well, that's a bad example because I sold, um, you know, uh, half barrels there, but let's say I had a few more losses. So instead of 0.25, I had 0.28 barrels of loss. I can make that entry there, click save, and you can see I just adjusted that. Um, it's not liking it because you have a negative inventory, um, but um, you know if you need to make other other adjustments here. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I want to go down to make that zero. And so you can make adjustments and eventually all your beer wants to end up being zero. So this is how you do that. Um, and then after you make all your entries and you're good with how everything looks, we can go to the make reports page. Let's start off with the operations reports uh, since that seems to be the, you know, most time consuming. Um, so since I just started this brewery, I only have one op operations report available to me to print. Um, if I started it in the past, I would have a lot more. Um, which, let's just print out this one and see what it looks like. So here's the PDF. And TTP Tamer prints out everything for me, populated, um, does all the math for me. So over the quarter, I made 38 barrels. Um, you know, I transferred this much to Bright Tanks, uh, made this many kegs and bottles and cans. And then, you know, I sold this amount, two and a half barrels in kegs and 1.09 barrels in 
uh, bottles. If I keep scrolling down, I can see any comments that I made, for example, losses from the seller that you know TTB might be interested about. Um, so I can see all those explanations. And so I can just print this out, um, sign it, and send it in. Um, let's move to the excise tax return report. So again, I only have one available because I just started. But if I print that out, it does, does all the math. And you can see I owe $25.13. Um, pretty self-explanatory. And then lastly, let's do daily reports. So technically you're supposed to be keeping daily records um, every day for all the activities in your brewery. And this is a simple way of doing it. So let's say I made some entries today. I want to print out the daily record of everything that I did for today. Click go. And TTB Tamer goes through all those entries and prints out what happened today. So you can see I made 10 barrels of the coconut porter. I moved nine and three quarters barrels to the bright tank. And then I sold two and a half kegs, barrels of kegs, and 1.09 barrels in cases. Um, if I keep scrolling down, I can see a de detailed breakout of everything that I did. Here's all my entries. So this is a really simple way of keeping your daily records. Um, you make all your entries, print out your daily record, you have it on file. Um, it's, it's really pretty, pretty easy. Um, and then if you had any other users, you could manage them here. Um, the help page will take you to the online help, uh, kind of explain what TTB Deamer does and give you some uh, you know, tips and tricks on how to use the software. Or you can always you know, reach out to me directly. Um, I answer email all the time. I really like uh, you know, reaching out and hearing what you guys have. Because uh, again, a lot of our features come directly from you. So again, uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to email me. My email is daniel, D-A-N-I-E-L, at ttbtamer.com, or info at ttbtamer.com. I also get that email. Um, yeah, so reach out. Any questions? Uh, love to hear from you.